what is cinnamon we've all had cinnamon right you got cinnamon rolls you got cookies teas cinnamon comes in so many different things that we consume but what is it cinnamon is a spice obtained from several species of laurel tree that come from the genus cinnamoma so in biology there are a bunch of different terms to categorize living things and one of those terms is genus genus is a group of related living things for example the genus Canis refers to dogs and their wild relatives like wolves. The genus Homo refers to modern humans like us and ancient humans. So cinnamon is a spice that comes from these groups of trees and there's different types, which is why there's different types of cinnamon, if you didn't know that. It specifically comes from the bark of these trees, as you can see right here in this picture. That's all it is, it's just this tree bark that's prepared in a certain way and dried to create the tasty thing that is cinnamon. Where does the taste and smell of cinnamon come from? Many of the things that smell good comes from these things called essential oils. And these oils come out of the bark of these specific types of trees. Now these essential oils are what's called volatile, which means they evaporate at room temperature. So if you ever smelled a flower, what you're smelling is those volatile oils that evaporate and get in your nose. There's two different molecules that are responsible not only for the taste of cinnamon, but for the smell. So right here, as you can see, we got the first one, which is called cinnamaldehyde. Cinnamaldehyde is a molecule that gives us that spicy, classic cinnamon smell and taste. And then you have eugenol. Now eugenol is interesting because this molecule is responsible for the background flavors and smells. Eugenol is present in things like clove, nutmeg, basil, bay leaf. If you've never smelled clove or nutmeg specifically, pause the video and get some out of your pantry and smell it. And then smell some cinnamon. You'll recognize that clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon, they have a similar background smell. It's really hard to put into words. Here I have written spicy clove smell, but that still doesn't do it justice. If you smell them, you'll kind of recognize it. So both of these molecules together are responsible for how cinnamon smells and tastes. Okay, now for the interesting part. We're gonna talk about the different types of cinnamon. If you didn't know, there are many different types of cinnamon that have all kinds of different smells and tastes. I'm only gonna talk about a few of them, but I find this part really, really interesting because I learned a lot as I did some research. So the basic cinnamon that we get in a supermarket is called cassia cinnamon. Now, there's some different terms here, but we're gonna go with cassia, and this comes from China. This one is spicy, it's strong in its flavor, and it holds up very well in baked goods like cinnamon rolls. One of the reasons why this cinnamon is really useful is because it still maintains that flavor and smell after you bake it. Then we have Saigon cinnamon. So Saigon cinnamon comes from Vietnam. It actually doesn't come from Saigon. This one is similar to the cassia cinnamon, but the aroma and the flavor is much more complex, right? It has a little bit more of that clove nutmeg smell and taste. And this is also used in pho, which is a amazing Vietnamese dish. If you've never had it, you should try it because it's delicious. Then there's my favorite Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon is interesting because it doesn't really smell or taste like you think cinnamon should smell and taste like. There's some cinnamon stuff in there, but it's got a more complex aroma. It's very, very subtle. It's not really good for baked goods because you got to use a lot of it, but it's my favorite. And I have a picture right here of it on my counter because I like to use it a lot. And this cinnamon comes from Sri Lanka. Lastly, there's Malabar cinnamon. This one's from India. Now this one is really, really interesting. I really wanna get it because this one has what's called a lemongrass smell taste. Lemongrass is what you think it is. It's a grass that, I think it's a grass, that uh, has this lemony citrus smell and taste. The Malabar cinnamon is pretty much half lemongrass type of smell and taste, more citrus-like. And the other part is that cinnamaldehyde and eugenol. If you've never had a cinnamon that's not the basic one, I encourage you to try one, one of these, because cinnamon is a very broad category 
of spice. And there's not a crazy amount of different types of cinnamon, but you'll find it really interesting, the difference in smell and taste from the regular stuff. What's also interesting is that India produces about 40% of the world's cinnamon and China produces about 30% of the world's cinnamon. The rest comes from other places around the world, but these two are the biggest exporters of cinnamon. So in summary, cinnamon is from this specific species of tree, right? From the genus Cinnamomum, that category of living things like Canis and dogs and with Homo and humans. It comes from the bark of these trees. The smell and the taste comes from these molecules, cinnamaldehyde and eugenol that give it the spicy, aromatic flavor profile. Then we talked about the different types of cinnamon, right? That cassia cinnamon, that's the basic supermarket cinnamon used in baked goods like cinnamon rolls, cookies, and it's spicy and pungent. Then there's Saigon cinnamon, similar to the cassia, but the flavor and smells more complex. Like I said, that eugenol adds a very unique character to cinnamon. And this one's used in pho and a bunch of other things. Then there's my favorite, Ceylon cinnamon. Very, very subtle, very aromatic, doesn't have that spicy punch like normal cinnamon does. Then there's Malabar, which is, in my opinion, the most interesting one. It has that citrus smell and taste along with that classic cinnamon smell and taste. If you've never had any one of these other cinnamons, you should at least try one. Because like I said, they're really interesting and you'll just find that this is much more complicated of a spice than you thought it was. I just think it's really interesting and this is something practical to try out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, and I'll be back soon with another video.